Hello again. So we all have to deal with stakeholders, don't we? Whether we're working in-house, when you have to handle your colleagues' opinions and agendas, or externally, as we work with clients every day of the week. And it can be challenging. Heck, it can be downright infuriating and demoralizing, can't it? It can leave you feeling utterly incapable of doing a good job. Therefore, it's hardly surprising that I spend more time discussing stakeholders with the people that I mentor than any other topic. After all, we're already great at our job. We understand user research, marketing, and UX design, but Bob in compliance, well, he's a complete mystery to us. Except he shouldn't be. You see, it's the very fact that we're already good at our jobs that means we're perfectly equipped to understand somebody like Bob or any other stakeholder that we have to deal with. We need to learn how to take the skills that we've developed in our role and use it to our advantage when dealing with stakeholders. We know how to get to know our audience, to find out what motivates them, and then we can use that in order to help them fulfill their aims and our own objectives. That's the definition, isn't it, of UX and marketing. Now we need to take those same skills and apply them to our colleagues and our clients. If you want to persuade a stakeholder of anything, you need to get inside their heads, you need to understand them, and you need to work with them to get things done. And there are five things that you're already doing regularly to understand your users um, in the work that you do on a daily basis that you can also apply to your colleagues and your clients. And the first of those is to learn their pain points. What are your clients and colleagues struggling with in their job? What do they find difficult to get done? And once you know that, you can show how user experience design can help overcome those challenges. The next thing you can do is use their language. You wouldn't use jargon in a website navigation. So why do we use jargon when we're talking to stakeholders? We use jargon in terms of design thinking and UX design and all this kind of rubbish that we spout. And instead, we should be adopting the language that resonates most with our audience. So if you're talking to a marketer, you need to use marketing. If you're talking to a compliance person, you need to talk about compliance. Then we can also help them facilitate their goals. Nobody cares about user experience like you do. It's not their job, it's not gonna happen, and no amount of bullying them is gonna make them care. However, they will have their own goals and agendas, and if we find out what those are, we can show them how great user experience can help them achieve their objectives and their agenda. And finally, we can understand who's influencing our audience. We know who's influencing the users that come to our website, don't we? We know that they're influenced by all kinds of factors from what they read online to their friends and family. And your colleagues and your clients are no different. Who's influencing them? And how can we influence the influencers? In short, we need to put the same effort into winning over stakeholders as we do into winning over users. You could even create empathy maps for your colleagues and your clients if that's gonna help you. We can't simply expect stakeholders to fall in line because we ask them. They're gonna have their own agendas and their own priorities and we need to understand and accommodate those. Perhaps it's time that we stop thinking in terms of stakeholders, clients and colleagues and instead we need to start seeing them as just another group of users that we must accommodate in order to do our jobs properly.